we say hi to all our Jin Jin Jitsu friends from all over the world. This is We Are One. And today we're glad to have Jill Marie Pasquinelli with yeah. us to share her wisdom and her knowledge of Jin Jin Jitsu. Welcome, Jill. Thank you so much, Ali. It's so great to see you again. And I want to thank everyone for joining in this We Are One uh, webinar series. Welcome to new people. Uh, these are really wonderful meditations that we're offering and also to the people who have been with us. And thank you, it's nice to see you again. And it's nice to be together. It's really beautiful to be together. So we're living in a remarkable time, uh, a remarkable time in history. We've never seen anything like this. Um, we're living through a lot of uncertainty. We're in a groundless territory, right? Never before in our history have we had a global pandemic, a global civil rights movement with, um, we've never seen numbers like we've seen during this time and such a consequential election coming up. And so, um, it's overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. And we're living history that will be recorded for times to come. And what's your story in this time? I encourage you to keep some kind of record, journal, video, song, dance, however you express it, um, some kind of record of it, because we're all going to have a story of how we got through this time. The one thing I'm certain of is that the way we're going to get through this time is we're going to get through it together. And that's what these, for me, why these We Are Ones are so important. Um, we are coming together in these self-help meditations. We're not only helping ourselves, but we're helping to lift each other um, to the light, really. So for this reason, I've chosen the 2426 self-help. And this self-help is helping us to harmonize chaos. And chaos is a prelude to change because we're not going to go back to what was. Normal never was normal. <laughs> and so what we're creating going forward is new. And uh, sometimes we need to lose sight of the shore to find our way. And, and uh, chaos can be uncomfortable, but we'll get through it. We'll have faith and get through it. So the 2426, LA, can I have the first slide, please? Thank you. <clears throat> So I love this picture. Uh, it's a picture of chaos, <laughs> as you can see. And um, chaos is orderless confusion. And this can be in the body, in the mind, in the world. And we're living through a chaotic period right now where everything is everywhere. And sometimes there needs to be disintegration before we have reintegration. So <clears throat> we're, our safety energy locks 24 and 26 are located in our fifth depth. And for new people, depths are movements and dimensions of energy which have different qualities. And some are outside of the body, and some make up this physical body. So fifth depth is the element of fire, and it takes care of our bones and skeleton and is our blood of life, the blood in the body. So these two safety energy locks, 24 and 26, live within fifth depth. And fifth depth, fire has to do with our vitality. And vitality can be 
diminished and disharmonized by the attitude of try to. Trying all of the effort, all of the striving that uh, can make us bone tired. We can actually be bone tired and burned out. And that is fifth depth striving. The harmonized state of fifth depth is to align with a higher purpose. So fifth depth has to do with spirit. Fire has to do with spirit. So align with a higher purpose and be true to ourself. Being true to ourself rather than striving to be someone we're not. That's a key element of fifth depth. So fifth depth has to do with being in the present, being in the now. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take a look at Safety Energy Lock 24. Ali, can I have the next slide, please? So 24 is located the outside arch, the little toe side arch, the outer arch of the foot. The whole arch of the foot is six. The inner arch is Safety Energy Lock 6. And 24 is also a six. So the whole arch of the foot is a six. And we know with safety energy lock six that that harmonizes our fourth depth. And our fourth depth is water. So here we have fourth depth water coming to help balance our fifth depth fire. Okay, in the next slide, please, Ali. <clears throat> the 26 is located, you can see, where the arm and the trunk of the body meet, right? So it's actually the whole arm where my thumb is, is helping the respiratory system, where my fingers are wrapped around the back, is helping the vascular system, and underneath the arm is the lymph system. So 26 is this whole area. <clears throat> and Mary said 26 was total and complete. And it will help to, this flow, 24, 26, will help to create calmness in the body. 26 is that which was, is, and will be. In other words, it harmonizes our past, our present, and our future. And 26 also helps us to let go of all accumulations. So this is a pretty powerful combination. 24, helping to harmonize chaos. Chaos can occur when there is fatigue in the body or the mind. And we can feel it in the pulse, we can feel it in the body, it leads to fatigue. So this flow, 24 harmonizing chaos, 26 harmonizing our past, present, and future, helping us to let go of all accumulations. So let's begin. We can have our left hand on our right, 26. For those of you who are sitting, you can bring your left knee up on the chair and hold the left 24. So I have my right 26 and left 24. If that's a little difficult to reach, there are a couple of options. We can simply hold our 26s. We call this the cosmic hug. We can hold our index finger. Little? Little, li I, I'm sorry, little finger. Yes, little. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Our little <laughs> finger. And we can also hold our palm, the center of the palm. We can do it together, actually, hold both palms. And the self-help that I'd like to suggest today that I think 
most people will be able to find comfortable is the right hand goes to the left 26. The left hand goes to the left 15. Ali, can we see the slide? There we go. So I'm on the left 26 and the left 15. My right hand is crossing on the left 26. Left hand on the left 15. And I'll be quiet now so that we can sink into this um, self-help, helping to harmonize chaos in the body, helping to harmonize fatigue, and helping us to be in the now, helping us to be in the present. The first thing Mary always said was to drop your shoulders. When we drop our shoulders, this clears the mind. It balances the hormones and it helps to balance the metabolism. You can close your eyes or have a soft focus, whatever is comfortable for you. See if you can just rest in the breath. No effort, no direction. Be in the breath that is. Allow yourself to be breathed.
if you want to change sides, go ahead, or you can simply stay where you are. Just allowing the breath to breathe you. Allowing life to flow through you. Sometimes the way we get through hard things is moment by moment, breath by breath. There is no other place to be. The breath settles the mind, settles the body. If you'd like now, you can hold your 17. The 17 is the little finger side of the wrist in between the bones here, the palm side. Okay, you can hold it like this. This is how I like to hold it. Or you can also hold it like this, Whatever's, whatever you prefer. And just let's hold our 17s. 17 clears the mind, and it's the leader of relaxation in the body, and it helps the nervous system.
Let's move to the other 17. Thank you. So I'd like to suggest that if you want a longer version of Harmonizing Chaos, you can begin with the self-help main central vertical flow and then hold whichever is comfortable, comfortable for you, the 26 and same side 15 or the 26s or the little finger or the palm, any of those, and end holding the 17s. These are all very calming, calming the mind, calming the body, and they help the parasympathetic nervous system. And they're also helping fatigue, the fatigue that we can be, be feeling from everything that's going on in our lives and in the world right now. So this is a wonderful practice. And there's one other thing that I wanna show you that also really helps chaos, which is the left hand goes on the left 11, the shoulder, safety energy lock 11, and the right hand goes on the opposite 13. So the right center of the right chest. This is the beginning of the small intestine flow and the small intestine flow, the job of the small intestine is to sort things out. So it is also very helpful for harmonizing chaos and overwhelm. And you can do both sides. You can do either side. So these are all some self-helps that you can use anytime during this time. It's been a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ale, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sigrid, for sharing your wisdom and mm. so many tips for harmonizing chaos, so many <laughs> possibilities. Yes, yes. And Thanks. it can be as long as you wish or as simple as you wish. It can, as long as you wish. Actually, I have one little story before we go. Last night, <clears throat> in the middle of the night, I heard these wild sounds like screaming and I didn't know if it was a child and I didn't know what it was and finally I realized it was coyotes and it was a lot of coyotes 
and they, I don't know what they were doing. They were having a party, <laughs> but they were so loud and so close. So I said, ah, <laughs> 26 and 15. And it was amazing. I just felt so relaxed and calm. And uh, it was really a wonderful experience right before this class. <laughs> So um, also, I'm having a webinar this Saturday. Wonderful. And it's from the nothing to bone. So from the most invisible layer, the nothing, the mystery, dancing down through the body, all the layers, all the way to bone. And it'll be somewhat experiential and also the faculty has study groups now that you can join that have been really wonderful, very rich. And you can find those all on the website. Ale, do you have the slide for the... All I, have the just, I have just added it here Good. With, uh, on the chat so Good. everybody can see. And ah. for those of you who are going to watch this on, your, on YouTube, yes. I will also add in the description of the video so people can enroll and join for it. It's around one hour and a half, two hour webinar, right? Yes, yeah. It's a hundred minutes. So one hour, minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> it's a Wonderful. one, a magnified one. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Be well, everyone. Take care. Take care of yourself, of each other. And until next time, Jill, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.